Hey squad, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a completely new vocal harmony by simply manipulating a melody line, vocal melody line, using Flex Pitch, which is native to Logic Pro X, and Melodyne. Now I've done videos on both of these before, so make sure you check these out in the description. There'll be links there, and I'll be putting links throughout the video as well. The focus of this video is not so much about how to go about doing this, but more about the quality of the final results. Now I'll create the exact same harmony using both of these processes, and then we'll compare and contrast between them to see which one sounds better. Now, as always, if you're feeling what I'm doing and you find value in these videos, support me by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment. It's always great hearing from you. Now, today I wanna to give a big shout out to one of my long-term subscribers, Mr. JT. You know who you are. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, and I do hope you find value in this video. Anyway, it's that time, so let's get into it. Okay, so to kick things off, let me just play you back the melody so you have an idea of our starting point. Lately, I've seen a different look about you And something's telling me There's not a thing I can do I know that there's something wrong From your ways and the look in your eyes I just want to let you know I really miss your smile Different look about you And something's telling me There's not a thing I can do I know that there's something wrong From your ways and the look in your eyes I just wanna let you know I really miss your smile Okay, so that's the melody that we're going to be working with. Of course, I've got some effects and stuff on there, but that's not really important right now. Now, before we actually dig into this, let me just clarify that this is not so much a video on how to use Flex Pitch or how to use Melodyna. So although I'll be demonstrating very briefly what I'm doing, it's not so much about the process. It's more about the results, okay? Okay, we're going to start off by duplicating the actual vocal melody. So... I'm going to use the key command, command shift D, and that duplicates the actual track as well as the contents or regions on the track. It's quite a handy, useful key command. I'm going to get rid of this second melody right there, and we're going to call this one flex pitch. And I'm going to use the key command option shift N to rename this region right here. Again, another very useful key command. Now we'll engage the flex options by clicking here and we're gonna select flex pitch right here. Now that's set up, we can hide the flex options. Okay, next thing we do is we double click on flex pitch, this region, and we go to track. And we just gotta make sure this flex option is switched on and as you can see now here are the notes in this melody zoom out a little bit Lele. okay so just to demonstrate real quick if i was to highlight all of these i can move this up Lele. like like so and have a listen Lele. so let's undo those now again i'm not going to go into the detail about um all of what we're seeing here, again, that's available in my previous video. Go check that out if you want to learn how to use Flex Pitch, which is an absolutely powerful, amazing tool. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to focus right now on creating a, a harmony that goes along with this melody right here. Lele. Right, so I want to move these up. I want the last note to end on the... Let's try that. Lele. Okay. Lele. Okay. So let's listen to the next bit. I've seen a different look about you. I'm highlighting all of these and I'm going to move these up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. 
seen a different look of many you. All right, let's take it from the top. Lately, I've seen a different look of many you. Okay, um, the reason why um, flex pitch or melodyne are really useful instead of using a pitch shifter with a pitch shifter it's only it's always going to move every single note by a third or by a fifth whatever interval you set on a pitch shifter that's exactly how it's going to harmonize the section whereas with flex pitch and with melodyne you can actually go in and move individual notes to wherever you want them to land so here i'm going to need to work on this section right here okay so in order to keep the length of the video down i've gone away and i've adjusted all of these notes in the harmony section to exactly what i want to hear and i'll play this back to you right now so this is the newly created harmony Lily. Okay, and that's just by manipulating all of these notes right here so that they work with the melody line. So one thing I would probably do in the mix is reduce the volume of the flex pitch section or track so it sits a bit further behind the main melody. But the next thing we're going to do is go on to creating a harmony using Melodyne. So let's do that right now. I'm going to use the same key command we used before. Command Shift D. I'm going to delete this right here. And now we've inserted an instance of Melodyne. I'm going to bypass the effects right there. So all we've got is Melodyne on that track. Let's rename this. And once again, use the key command Option Shift N to rename the section. I'm going to color code this as well. I like to keep things quite distinctive. So use the key command Option C to pull up the color palette. And I use this lime green for the Melodyne. Also, I'm going to color code the track as well. So I'm going to select in the background whilst on the track and I'm going to use the same color coding, which is this one right here, to color code the track. We need to come into Melodyne right here and we're going to click transfer right here. And all we do now is playback. Lily. Seen a different look about you And something's telling me There's not a thing I can do I know that there's something wrong From your ways and the look in your eyes I just wanna let you know I really miss your smile On this track, we've got the main melody We've inserted Melodyne And when we press transfer and play what happens is the melody is recorded into Melodyne. So if I was to mute this region right here and solo this track, we'll still hear the vocal melody playing back from Melodyne. Lele. Okay, so this region now becomes redundant as the audio we'll be working on is actually in the Melodyne plugin. Once again, check out the link above to take you to how to use Melodyne. Even though we've moved on to version five, the principles are exactly the same. So once again, I'm gonna go through all of these notes and create that vocal harmony. It's gonna be exactly the same as the vocal harmony I created for the flex pitch track. So let's just highlight all of these. Like this section right here, let's play back. Okay, I'm going to go like... How about this? Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work my way through to keep the length of the video down. I'm just going to go through and work all of these notes and create the melody. We want to compare the resulting audio quality of the Melodyne Harmony compared to the audio quality of Flex Pitch. So let me just get on and do this.
Okay, finally we're here. As you can see down here, we've got the flex pitch display for this pink region right here. And this one over here is our Melodyne display. I've managed to go through and I've created the exact same harmony for both parts. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna listen just to the individual harmonies. We'll then be able to hear any of the audio artifacts um, and discrepancies that might be occurring in the raw audio. Let's play this back and I'll give you my judgment. So there are definitely imperfections there in terms of the quality. However, I do feel that Melodyne sounds better. So we'll bring in the music and we'll bring in the other parts. Let's put on some effects right here. And now let's see how these will blend in together in support of the main melody. There's something wrong from your ways and the look in your eyes. I just wanna let you know I really miss your smile. Lately, I've seen a different look about you. And something's telling me there's not a thing I can do. I know that there's something wrong from your ways and the look in your eyes. Okay, once again, I still prefer the sound of Melodyne. However, if I didn't own Melodyne, I would be able to use EQ and some effects to mask the imperfections in this flex pitch harmony and have it sit at the right level below the main melody so that it still supports what's going on and you won't hear the imperfections. Okay, so ultimately, you'll decide which one sounds better to you. Having said that, both of these processes are very, very useful indeed. So if you don't own Melodyne, you can most certainly make use of Flex Pitch. Anyway, that's it for today. Until the next video. Great stuff. I really do hope you found the video useful. If you did, drop me a line in the comment section, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will really help me out. Now remember to support me at dospeeds.com as well as on my social media channels. And finally, switch on that notification bell. So just like the rest of the MTTC squad, you'll find out as soon as my next video drops. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.